Hello guys, what is up? This is Jeremy Hadler, your host on Jeremy Hadler's YouTube channel, and we have our guest speaker, Zachary Brazik, back on the show of doing the GOAT series. On today's episode, we're doing long snappers, the, one of the most underappreciated positions. And I know Wes Hoskowitz, you wanted this, so this is for you, Wes. Uh, long snappers, Zach, can you give us a brief history about long snappers? Of course, and thank you again, Jeremy, for having me on the show. I'm happy to be the special teams expert for the channel. It's been an honor recently. No problem. So long snappers, underappreciated. I mean, they don't do a lot, but they have a role, definitely. Something about long snappers is they're a more current position. So most of these GOAT series, you'll see at least one or two older players. Throw some respect for the older players. The long snappers are pretty new. Washington uh, Football Club, I guess we shouldn't say the name, but Washington created the position back in 1971. Yeah. They're the first team to have one. And then slowly, every year or two, another team would try it out. Um, but none, none were dra- no long snappers were drafted until 1998. Um, so it's really just been a thing of the last 20, 25 years. Mm-hmm. Teams just want that specialist to make sure that they don't get those bad snaps. And yeah, and also, long snappers have only been being have only been elected to the Pro Bowl the last 11 years. So 2012 is the only was the first year of long snappers being in the Pro Bowl. So factor that in and long snappers pretty much there's only three things you can look at. They have field goal snaps, which they have to snap it eight yards back punt snaps, which they have to snap it 14 yards back. And on the punts, they can sometimes pick up some nice tackles and just hopefully not throw it over the punter's head. <laughs> good, good, good. All right, so just to remind the folks of the criteria as we already discussed the criteria for long snappers. The criteria for the GOAT series episode is, again, we pick six people. We have our GOAT at the end of the episode. Me and Zach are going to choose our own guy. Um, spoiler, he chose Ray Guy. If you didn't watch already, so go watch back, even though he loves Ray Guy. Um, and then we have an honorable mention, too. But for this episode, we'd like to kick it off the honorable mention, and then we'll go with the rest of the guys just because it just makes it more simple and more easy for you guys. All right, so let's start off with our honorable mention, and that is Brett Good. Brett Good, he was great for the Packers. Great. Thank you, Brett, for your service. I appreciate it. Uh, he played 10 seasons in the NFL with the Green Bay Packers the majority of the time. Uh, he won a Super Bowl. That's what we look for. He should have been MVP instead of Rodgers. I'm just kidding. My, yes. Um, no, he was fantastic when I watched him. He was very solid every time when you had to come out with Mason Crosby. You had with the different punters because many years we had to deal with new punters, and we have a new punter this year, Pat O'Donnell, as of this moment. But Crosby and him connected so well. You can go look at great moments together, especially against the Cowboys during the playoff game in 2016 where he nailed that, and Skip Bayless still hates Mason Crosby to this day because of the kick. I don't care, Skip Bayless. That's a dub for the Packers. Thank you. And so, yeah, Brett Good, he was fantastic. Um, he only had one bad snap in his career. One bad snap. That's that's not too bad. That's pretty good for him. And he also had 12 tackles. So you usually see, as Zach was mentioning, you'll see him like during either special teams or when they have to block for a field goal punt uh, or a punt. That's where they make the tackle. So overall, I would say he's one of the greatest on my criteria but because I'm a Packers fan. But no, he won and helped us win a Super Bowl. And that's what we needed out of him. He was clutch, especially in Super Bowl 45, as we get to Super Bowl uh, moments with the Eagles and Chiefs. He was fantastic when it was right towards the end of the game. You had Mason Crosby, Brett Good, and like McCarthy chose to kick the field, which was the smart idea instead of going for the touchdown at the time. So Brett Good got it in for Mason Crosby. Crosby kicks it up, and it was good. Packers win the Super Bowl. So that's what I got to say about Brett Good. I don't know if you had anything else to add on Brett Good. Well, he was pretty good, if I say so myself. Um, haha. Yeah, Brett Good, you know, uh, had a little bit of a shorter career, but all for those Packers. Um, I think Jeremy knows more than me, so I'll just leave it at that. And congrats on making the honorable mention. Shout out to Pack Reacts for the Packers who uh, wanted him on this list. Uh, Brett Good, he came on the list. Mike, you can appreciate that. West, you can appreciate that. So that's all I got for him as my lawn snapper, as honorable mentioned. Let's move on to our next guy, which this guy played a lot more seasons than Brett Good. 
John Dornboss played 16 seasons with the Eagles. He's a two-time Pro Bowler. He's had zero uh, career in fumbles or bad snaps. So that's perfection, folks. Perfection. He also had 29 solo tackles, six assisted tackles, and he's a very solid magician, too. Yes, he's been on America's Got Talent. He got, like, third place, so shout out him for that, too. Mm. Um, Yeah, John Dornbos, Eagles, Eagles legend, you know, played a lot of years for them. The cool thing about long snappers is they don't get much love, but they're usually on teams for a very long time. Yeah. You, know, you have a running back for like four years and then he's gone. But these long snappers, like tw- like 20 years of your life, you can have the same guy, which is kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, zero career fumbles and bad snaps for the folks out there. Um, I actually didn't know this until a couple of days ago. So like fumbles for long snappers is like a bad snap that like goes way that goes like over the punter or holder's head so like they can't even like get it at all that's considered a fumble for a long snapper so having zero of those in your career i mean you can't ask for more he was always a great locker room guy too for long snappers that's very important just to add a little more to the team and uh solid choice here for our top five yes i definitely think he should be in the conversation especially his magician work that gives me another boost i'm sorry brett good even though you're the Packers, that just gives me another boost because of his talented wise and he had zero uh, bad snaps and fumbles. That's got to be up there in the top five, I guarantee for me. Especially it's with 16 hard. seasons, that's very good. All right, let's move on to our next guy, which this guy also played 16 seasons from 2000 to 2016 and played for four teams, and that is Mike Leach. He made one Super Bowl. He has 45 career solo tackles, 11 career assisted tackles, one career fumble, bad snap. So that's not too terrible. That's pretty good. Despite wow. like John, you had zero. It's still pretty good. And fun fact about him, he's the only kickoff returner his rookie year for the Titans. So he was the kickoff returner in his rookie year for the Titans. So that's very cool. And he returned it for 10 yards. So that's that's not that. That's not terrible. It's not like a Mario Rogers with Packers. No. <laughs> so that's good. Um he started 15 games as a returner. So that's pretty good. If you're gonna play returner, which Nobody expects a long snapper to play return. So that's another key no. thing I like to give out to him about it. Um, but yeah, he had multiple chances to win a Super Bowl. He made it to one. He didn't win it. But again, he was pretty good for his career in 16 years. And he messed up one time. And with that snap, that's pretty good to me. Definitely. Mike Leach, he made the Super Bowl with the Cardinals. He also played for Denver, Tennessee, and one more team that I cannot name. But yes, yeah, so Mike Leach also was a kick returner, kickoff returner his rookie year, like you said. So he was not drafted to be a long snapper. He was a tight end slash wide receiver out of college, which is why he wore number 82. Most long snappers are like number 40s or 60s. Yeah. But that's a unique fact about why Mike Leach was 82. Uh, he was great for a long time, played during – my childhood, like like most of these players, because long snappers are pretty new and yep. rock solid, you know. He he had one bad one, but you know, he definitely uh made up for it. Yeah, still pretty good. I still yeah, one bad snap in like 16 years, that's pretty good. That's pretty good for a guy. Because yeah. most of the time you'll see somebody messed up, especially in your rookie year. Oh, like yeah, mess up. That's that's where I give it, but like uh, him Every here. Year. That's pretty good to me. That's pretty good if just one bad snap like Brett Good did. And with John, who had zero, like, that's pretty good. Especially when you're going to be mentioned in this list, you have to have a limited amount of mess up plays, which he didn't have much. So that's pretty good for him. I would give him my part. Definitely. All right, let's move on to our next guy, which everyone, if you're a Baltimore Ravens fan, should know. And I still have my Baltimore Ravens. Even though Zach hates the Ravens, I'm sorry about that, Raven fans, because he's a Browns fan. But... This guy, he's still playing with uh, the Tennessee Titans, but he played his majority of the career, and he is known for being a Baltimore Ravens, and that is Morgan Cox. He has played 13 seasons so far. As I mentioned, he's currently with the Tennessee Titans, but he is a Baltimore Ravens legend. If you're a diehard Ravens fan, you should know him. That's a fact. Second, he's a five-time Pro Bowler. Five people, five. Impressive to me. Also, he is a one-time All-Pro. So that's very rare if you're going to be a long stopper and you get all pro for one time, even if it's first team or second team, that's impressive to me. Uh, he had one bad snap. 
one bad snap. That's that's pretty good. Again, pretty good. Uh, he's also a Super Bowl champion. The Ravens won it in 2012 against the 49ers during the lights went out. So, again, he ver- adjusted with the lights going out. So, that's pretty good to me. But, yeah, I would say Morgan Cox definitely up there on my list for him because, again, he was very good, very consistent, very solid. And what I've heard from the Raven fans, they love him to death. So, I have to give it Morgan Cox, especially messing him one time and he making – five Pro Bowls and making one All-Pro. That's pretty good to me. Definitely. Morgan Cox, probably the most known Pro Bowler today. But yes. Still playing. Five Pro Bowls is by far the most ever for a long snapper. Mm-hmm. Um, since they've only given out that award since 2012, five is pretty, I mean, that's pretty amazing. Exactly. Uh, one bad snap. I'm honestly surprised he even had one. Uh, I Assumed it'll be zero, but he had one, but that's not bad. Yeah. A little light on the tackle numbers, only 10 solos, but yeah. just like it's called long snapper. It's not long tackler and was snapping it. I'm sure Justin Tucker loves him too. They've been together for a very long time. Well, not anymore, but uh, yeah, I mean, I mean you amazing can... player that everyone should know. Truly a Ravens legend, even if I hate the team. <laughs> I mean, you, you could make the case that Morgan Cox basically helped Justin Tucker become Justin Tucker. Exactly. You could make the case. That's where he's basically, like, they had the, I would say they have, if you want to go, like, duos, like an NBA, like LeBron, D. Wade, or Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan, this is the best duo of special teams, you could arguably say, with Morgan Cox and Justin Tucker. Definitely. Definitely. And they also had Sam Cook for a while as a punter, and that was a, just a fantastic trio. Yes. All right, so we got Morgan Cox there. Let's move on to our next guy. And this guy, I would say, is the Frank Gore. I'm going to be mentioned on these lists. Whoever plays the most seasons, that's your Frank Gore, as will be mentioned the yeah. first episode. So this guy played over 17 seasons with the Detroit Lions, and that is Don Mobach. It's like the Millennium Falcon. Don Mobach, or Chewbacca, whatever you want to say. <laughs> Star Wars reference, folks. I played 17 seasons for the Detroit Lions. He is the oldest player of the 2010 decade in the NFL. Besides Tom Brady and Adam Vinatieri, so he's the third oldest during that time, and he's a two-time Pro Bowler, so that's the second most, if I'm correct, of the Pro Bowl wise or on snappers. Pretty sure, yeah. And then he's also had one bad snap, fumble, whatever you want to call that snap. Also had 20 career solo tackles, 26 assisted tackles in his career, and he's also the goat of field goal snaps, but punts. He was all right. He was eh. Yes, yes. So Don Mulbach, one of the most beloved snappers. Lions fans love this guy, um, and for good reason. He played until he was like 41 or 42. Um, he had one bad snap, but he's a two-time Pro Bowler. He played the longest out of all these out of all these players on our list. Mm-hmm. Um, 20 tackles, that's solid. And like we said, he's the GOAT of field goal snaps. Like the holder would just have his hands there. You know, just hit him right there, down. The go to field goal snaps, punt snaps were eh, but field goal perfect 99% of the time. Definitely helped uh, probably top 10 kicker of all time, Jason Hansen, become who he is today. I would definitely agree with that. Um, yeah, I mean, he did. I say he's the best player of the Detroit Lions of all time because he just helped me with the punts and he would just <laughs> and the team to terrible. So, congrats to him. Yes. I would give him there. That's where I would like to give it, like, can give him due where. Lions would mess up an offense, and he helps save the team, even though yeah, they're terrible. Something. I say he's the MVP for that. Better than Calvin Johnson, obviously. Exactly. Exactly. All right. right, let's. We got one more person, and then we'll get to our ultimate goat here, which I'm just going to give you guys straight facts right up here. Uh, when I did this, I had no idea who this guy was. I'm just going to be honest with you, because I did not know a lot of long snappers. I knew like Morgan Cox, Bright Good, and Mike Leach at the time. But when I went through this and I kept going through the analytics, kept reading the articles, kept looking at my research, this guy kept popping up to me. I'm like, okay, this guy has to be on the list. If he's going to be keep popping up on my face every single time, even though I hate uh, the team that I play for, and he's also like another Frank Gore to me, and that is Patrick Manley. Patrick Manley played 16 seasons with the Chicago Bears. The Bears still stink. Uh, first true long snapper ever drafted in 1998. So that's very good, as Zach was mentioning earlier. Like, long snappers were not like that long. Then felt like you had quarterbacks, running backs. They were like recently, like how the Baltimore Ravens like coming into a new franchise, like expansion wise. So that's where 
the whole Lon Stapper case is. He's also had 36 career solo tackles, 46 assistant ta- assisted tackles, one fumble recovery, zero hooks, zero bad snaps. Very good to me. He also played in a Super Bowl, and the Bears didn't win. So I give him congrats oh. to that. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Pay Manny, to be, uh, to defeat the Bears. Thank you for that. That's the one time I will be happy that Patrick Manley did, did very good for his team, but the team didn't win. So thank you. Patrick Manley, you know, this is a long snapper episode. We haven't had that much to say. I do have some things to say about Patrick Manley. Right. Here's my expertise. So first drafted uh, long snapper ever in 1998. He was a sixth round pick out of Duke who's obviously known for their football and definitely not their basketball (laughs) university. His tackle numbers are crazy. 36 career solo and 46 career assisted. That's basically double everyone on this list, except uh, uh, Don Mulbach. It's basically double everyone else. And he is like, the Ray guy or any other old player, he he really made team teams looked at Don Man or Patrick Manley. They saw how good he could tackle. They saw how good he could snap. He made every team in the NFL say, hmm, yes, maybe we should look at long snappers more. Maybe we should actually have a long snapper. Because you saw a lot of long snappers drafted in the mid 2000s after yes. Patrick Manley started to become what he is. And you still, if you're watching like the rounds four through seven of the draft these days there's always one random long snapper in there and you can thank patrick manley for this uh the bears definitely took a shot drafting him in the sixth round even but it panned out incredibly 82 career tackles and even recovered a fumble he recovered more fumbles than he had fumbles as a long snapper he's probably the only person ever to do that and he is a legend he's the only really player i would consider a legend on this list so good for you patrick mm-hmm. all right so let's get into the goat of our ultimate goat here as we end this episode so just to remind you folks of the guys that we have on this list and the honorable mention brett goo is our honorable mentioned uh, we had john Durambos, and we have mike leach morgan cox don mulbach as i like to say patrick mainly <laughs> um zach i'll start with you first uh who is your goat so I, I think I basically gave it away a minute ago. I don't think it's – it's not, like, universal, but I am going to go Patrick Manley. He is the reason why teams draft long snappers. He's the reason why every single team has a long snapper. Absolute goat at tackles for a long snapper. And another fun fact about Patrick Manley is he actually has a kid's camp every summer, like, teaching long snapping. Fun fact. Um, so, you know, he's giving back to the community, a long snapping and really good dude. I know Jeremy hates the team, but got to respect the long snapper. So my goat is Patrick Manley. Well, I do hate the bears, but I will give credit where it's due. And my goat, where Zach says Patrick, will also be Patrick. I got Patrick here because again, Zach Lechon, he's a legend. The tackles, 36 solo and 46 assisted. That's very incredible compared to the rest of these guys on the list. So he's very good at tackling. He never messed up on like bad snaps. He never messed up. That's perfection compared to the rest of these guys. Majority had like maybe at least one. This is perfection, folks. Zero. I have to give it to him here. And he did play in the Super Bowl, but he did do me a you favor. Did. He did do me a favor where the Bears lost. So I have to give him credit where it's due. So again, I think he's a, definitely a legend as a long snapper. And basically, he was a star. He basically turn the whole long snapper like generation around. He started the whole thing and now teams are drafting long snappers in the draft and they're looking more invested into it. So for me, I have Patrick Manley as my ultimate goat for long snappers. Same here. Definitely. Mm -hmm. All right, folks. Thank you again, Zach. Thank you for coming on to this. Yeah. Thank you. Um, So folks, just a reminder, leave a like on this video. Make sure. Uh, Zach will give your feedback, probably not a paragraph wise, as he mentioned with the punters, but he'll give some feedback in. So um, two, some... two, two to three sentences this okay. time. <laughs> two to three sentences this time. Um, and then we'll have, so yeah, we have that. And then we're going to keep continuing with special teams. We're probably going to have kickoff returns as our next video. If not, we're going to go, we're going to go on the defensive side. So we'll keep that going. And then, so yeah, we'll have that. But guys, I appreciate you coming on, Zach. Once again, appreciate you coming on. And yeah, again, folks, that's a wrap in the studio. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great day. And as always, 
Go Pack Go. Thank you, everyone.